Thank you very much. We're here on location at the big brick building that serves booze and comfort food. And you were once the head chef here, now the general manager. Nick, thank you for having us here at the Depot Brewery and Distillery. You've got quite the spread for us here. Let me know where you want to start. I mean, this has been four years in the making. Give the viewers a rundown for the folks like me that haven't been in here. Really, really cool spot. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so we just started a new menu change on Monday. Uh, we brought in a lot of earthy, uh, a lot of heavier, heartier flavors uh, kind of for the winter. Uh, we're really excited about our New Year's party that's coming up and some of the, the new items that we've got to, to sell, like our Bloody Mary mix. What, what got you started, though? The beer, right? I mean, brewing beer, would that be it? Or was it the spirits? Uh, no, so I would say that we definitely took the leap and decided to do all three things at <laughs> once. Okay, nice. Uh, which yeah. I, I, it, we learned a lot, you know uh -huh. what I mean? Uh, but it was fun, yeah. So we, we've been doing spirits and beer and the food all in the same place okay. uh, since day one. And talk about some of your most widely popular items in terms of food to start. Uh, so our kale dip is probably the most popular thing, or, or our Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. you know, we're just kind of in that uh, space in Reno where everybody wants to come through and uh, head off to their breweries or to the ball game or whatever it is. So uh, a lot of our snack items. Yeah, describe where we're at here for the people that, that haven't found you yet. Yeah, so we're kind of right on the beginning of 4th Street, getting ready into the brewery district. Uh, we're right across from the ballpark and uh, Louis Bass, which is you know yeah. definitely a, a staple in, in downtown Reno. So yeah. um, cool jumping off point, lots of stuff down here. Yeah, but still close enough to college where all the kids are coming and getting their happy hour specials. Do you have a happy hour going right now for this sort of off season? We do, yeah. So we run a happy hour from three to six all the time. Uh, and I would say the most popular thing with the college kids is the man Mosa's. So it's a yeah. whole bottle of champagne that we do on the weekends. <laughs> I love it. The uh, onion ring is going to be one of your new ones, but always keeping some of your own product in here. This is uh, the beer batter is featuring some of your own beer. Yeah, right. So it's the Voyager beer batter, which is mm -hmm. another product that we make here in-house. And then it, we serve it with uh, our own barbecue. So that's something else that okay. we do here. All incomes and we do our own uh, barbecue mustard, uh, again, with, with beer in it. So we do beer mustard, yeah. ketchup, mayonnaise, all that kind of stuff here in-house. And then uh, the, the tacos, there was a unique sort of uh, preparation style in these. Talk about that a little bit with, was it a chili? Yeah. Uh, so it's a chote, which is like yeah. ground up bonato. Right. Um, and so it's just like a really earthy flavor that I'm yeah. really into. And I think with the cooler weather, it's kind of a cool thing to bring in for this time of year. One of the latest things you've bottled is your Bloody Mary mix. What makes it unique? What's it going to taste like? Spicy, some sweet? What do we have? In uh, it's a little bit sweeter than okay. uh, than you might think, but but it, it definitely has a kick. Um, okay. So it's something that we've, like, you know, again, being open for four years that we just kind of been playing around with and honed in kind of the way we like it. Um, and so we decided to put it in bottles and uh, we'll be selling it uh, pretty soon with uh, in a two pack with our own vodka that we make as well. Nice. All right. Well, uh, let's dig into some of this spread. And then on the next interview, head back in the back, see where all the magic happens with the brewery and the distillery here with Nick at the depot, the big brick building that serves booze and comfort food, or as you like to call it, a new term, gastro. Uh, what was it? Gastro fair. Gastro fair. I like it a lot here, man. I'm going to be coming here a lot. You're watching Todd today on location. Back to you in the studio.